You're watching Peter Stan at Asia dot com. Any opinions expressed during the following program are those of the hosts and not of KMSU KMSK. It's under ISIS, Minnesota State University, Mankato, or the public at large. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Peter Sam, and welcome to uh, the most, the top most outrageous public freakouts part three. This first clip comes us from A and E's hit TV series, uh, Court Cam, where this guy was filming in court. Listen. Meet the man in the fur caps, 21-year-old Robert Peterson. He's the person filming this footage as he enters the Kootenai County Courthouse in Idaho. That has to go through the x-ray machine if you want to come in this building. Peterson is a hearing for a minor traffic infraction, riding his bicycle at night without a light. But from the moment he steps inside the door, it's clear this won't be a typical security check. And I'd just like to know where your warrant is. I don't need it's clearly posted on the entrance building. Well, clearly posted that I have to forfeit my right to be free from unreasonable search and seizure. Yeah, every person is. I'm not a person. I'm a man. And more specifically, a free man. Peterson considers himself a sovereign citizen. I'm not subject to your jurisdiction, and I'm, the court has already confirmed that. I'm here for one purpose. All right. You can submit or you can leave. That's fine. I mean, I'll do that, but, but, but you will be charged a bill. Charged a bill? Rather than escalating the situation, one of the bailiffs decides to play along. You will be served a bill. I don't have any weapons. I need some here to raise a ruckus. After clearing security, Peterson finds a seat at the rear of the courtroom and continues filming. So there are no cameras in the court. Excuse me? There are no cameras in the court. Yeah, there is. No, you have to put that away. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Under what authority? There's a court, you have to have a court order from a judge before you can have the camera in the courtroom. Okay, well, right, I'm going to capture no, you this on video. You've got to turn it off. It's for both of our protection. Well, you have to turn it off. No, thank you. Enter bailiff number two. Shut the camera off now. No, thank you. I do not consent to you touching me or seizing my property. So you need to back the camera up. off now. I'm not being... I'm not doing anything wrong. Yes, you I'm are. holding you accountable because you're about to overstep your bounds. The bailiffs then decide to clear the courtroom and question Peterson directly. What's your first and last name? I don't have a last name. You don't have a last name? No. And what's your first name? I don't have a first name either. I've got a name. My name is Robert. You can call me Robert. As you can see, this bailiff keeps his sense of humor about the situation. What are you? I'm a man. You're human? I'm a man, yes. I see your Idaho state license. No, I don't have one. You don't have one? My person does, but I don't. With the situation seemingly diffused, Come on in, folks. the bailiffs usher everyone back into the courtroom. Well, except for one person. Okay, excuse me. Camera. Excuse me. You're blocking my freedom of movement. I am. All right. Well, Pete Barnes, you just admitted to me that you're violating my rights. No, I'm not. You can't come in with the camera. 
well, you're violating my rights. And this is also freedom of the press. From behind you. This is also freedom of the press. I mean, I don't know what the hell law book you're reading, man, but it doesn't apply to me. Why are you worried about cameras? Because you want to do something wrong? Because you want to do something wrong? Because if, if it's against the rules, that means it's because somebody intends on wronging somebody else. Because they're afraid of being held accountable. P. Barnes. It's a nice speech, but you're still not coming in. Well, please step aside. I'm going in. No, you're not going in. Don't touch me. You're not going in, sir. Let the record show that you just battered me. Step back. And you're using... Oh! Oh! Step back. After Peterson refuses to step back, Chief Bell of Pete Barnes fires his taser. And you're using... Oh! 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 Stop, please. I'm not doing anything wrong. Hey, you know what? You guys are really overstepping your bounds right now. Put the cuffs on him. Put the yeah, cuffs on him. What are you arresting me for? The answer to that question? Peterson's charged with three counts of battery and one count of contempt of court. He would later enter an Alford plea, meaning he didn't admit to committing a crime, but acknowledged there was likely enough evidence to convict him. Jail time was waived as part of the plea deal, he was ordered to pay a fine for his original charge of riding a bike at night without a light. Okay, so the person who uh, sh shot the taser at the man is a complete faggot. Am I sick of this? I would be like, but what is that man? What do, you, how, what do you have to say about that man? What is he? Fucking cunt. I agree with you. That man is sure a fucking cunt. And now for this uh, Negro who is a... Uh, who is, uh, her name's Judge Vonda Evans, and she's flipping the fuck out in court. Listen. Be quiet! Take him back! Take him out! Take him out now! Also remember the cries of help that he screamed as you plunged that knife in and out of his body. But as family members read a letter to get... Shut your mouth, or I'm gonna have some duct tape put on it. Well, he attacked... Alright, we'll wait here for a moment so we can get her quiet. We have no choice but to send her where she will also die. <laughs> I can't believe she stands before you doing this this morning. Please. You gutted him like a fish in that apartment, too. You were relentless. You stabbed, you stabbed, you stabbed, you stabbed, you stabbed until he was dead. Now, parole. Damn it, in her. Say you have to do what you have to do. I agree with the family. I hope you die in prison as well. You know, if this was a death penalty state, you'd be getting the chair. What a Bugs Bunny impersonation fan. He might be a faggot too. And now from my point of view. I quickly became homophobic. Hating on gay people became part of my lifestyle. And that's what I call fucking right there. And now for a homeless man in Detroit, Michigan for where he was. Yeah, for now we're, at a, we're seeing a homeless man smoking a joint in court. And if I was ever in the in the court, why well, would each and every person in the fucking room? <laughs> Next, we're gonna see a crazy Taco Bell fight, and then later on in the video, the shop the cops co show up. So this is that super crazy, and uh, yeah, not a huge part though, but it is a very crazy one. So let's listen to it. 
And this one has a, a bunch of Mexican people involved in the in the fight, and it's very crazy because you always see Mexicans in the Taco Bell and in Mexican neighborhoods. So listen. Hang on a sec. Sorry about that. An alarm bell came on for a Facebook live stream. So let's listen. Let's go back on at the beginning for the for the Taco Bell fight and repeat the six the first six seconds all over again. Get scared, bro. Get scared. 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 Get
And I will gotta see a wild watch eyeball at the Burger King. The woman tell you it's wild.
My guests are not called. Typical stay in the city of Charlotte, North Carolina. Hi, can I help you? What are you looking at, fuckface? I will slit your fucking throat if you call me again. Dick! And then send me the shot the faggot, okay. And now we're in Jacksonville, Florida with a very crazy fight at Burger King. And a very typical day in the city of Jacksonville, Florida. Listen. And then after the camera starts, the police finally show up, and this was the reaction to the Negroes. Next, we're gonna see a guy at the Apple Store getting caught trying to. What is it? So, this guy at the Apple Store is trying to unlock a store on iPhone, so let's listen to this. Now we're gonna find out what happens if food stamps gone wrong.
Now we're gonna hear Michael Cera freaking out and then getting fired from the knocked off movie set. I'm pregnant. Holy, holy shit, what? what I'm you, pregnant. With a baby? Yes. Pregnant with a baby. Yes, with a baby. <laughs> Happy for you. I am. Congratulations, you know. Michael, can you just, let's just start from the top again with just greetings yeah. your energy. Yeah, okay. Uh, that doesn't make any sense at all to me. I'm sorry. That doesn't. How work. could it not make sense to you? Because I had sex, your sperm hit my egg, and now I'm pregnant. Okay, I heard. Yeah, I understand. That all kind of fell into when you said you were pregnant. But can we just let's just start up at the top. Okay, just, and just just can you just raise your energy? Just get a little energy. Here. Yeah. Okay. What do you mean? Well, you you can't be pregnant. What are you talking about? I'm pregnant with uh, your baby. What? No, that's stupid. That doesn't even make sense to me. Mike, Mike, Mike. Okay, yeah. I don't mean yell. I'm just and what is energy? Like, you're telling me, you say energy, and then I come and give you energy, and then you're saying no energy, and like, what do you, tell me, we're all kind of wondering what it is, so why don't you tell us? And I know you feel the same way, because we discussed it. Yeah. Are you um, no, I mean, don't back down, this is your chair, like, it's going to be like this the whole rest of the time, unless we say, I'm saying something right now to you. What the big secret is, is what is it that you want to do, because we've done 15 takes of this, and I've done it with high energy, and I did a low, and then a, a middle one, you know that, that was a good take. Oh, okay. Then quit shouting shit out to me when I'm in the middle of a, a sentence, not even a take. A good sentence that's good on film. You know what? I, do you need a break? Are you having a hard day? Oh, that's bullshit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, who's... Hey, can anyone find... Who's directing this movie? Does anyone know? No, Mike, why don't you direct yourself, then? Why don't you do that? I would love to do that. Why don't you do it? That would be heavenly. It's just fucking everything up. I'm getting tired of it. Oh, it's fucking everything. Okay. Have fun editing this. This will be good. So you say, and then you say. I'm not even here. That, that was no. I don't even care. You know what? I'm fucking tired of your bullshit. Good. You fucking asshole. Good. We're not even on the air anymore. Okay. That's fine. Nice okay. To well, why don't you then tell me what you want to do, and then I'll do it so that you can tell me you don't want it anymore. I'll do it to perfection, and you'll tell me that it's garbage. Someone bring me a wardrobe change or something so that we can move on from this scene that we've gotten golden tapes of. T time after time, and that none of them are, are being used. And if you rolled on any of the five rehearsals we did, you'd have five more golden takes. Can someone tell me what we're doing? I, I don't. Ju I mean, don't just sit here. Now you're like, this is it. You know, this is it. Fine. She's not fine because she's telling me shit that you can't hear because we're not. Cause you're using yeah, a boom mic and not wireless microphones, so we can have a private conversation like that. Between actors. Yeah, I'm just trying to be supportive. I don't. You know what? Fuck this noise. Fuck all of you. Good. Bullshit. Shit. And that's what I call crazy. Absolutely fucking crazy. What do you think about it, Cinema Sickness? What the hell am I talking about? I thought there was a good man. Like, the guy's got shit. God damn it, my fucking head. Next, we're gonna see a Burger King manager who freaking out and attacking other customers. Listen.
And now for our final couple of days, it must be, well, a McDonald's employee steals debit card information and gets caught red-handed. Let's listen to this. Well, listen to it. Anyways, that's it for the entire series of the full and final part of the top most outrageous part of quick hours, quick logic, I'm enjoying this. So, this, uh, I hope this series teaches you a lesson that it's 
the apartment look is dangerous sometimes. Anyways, my name's Peter Sam. Thanks for watching.